everyone! Today I'm going to be doing the second episode in my new series, Create This Book. So let's get started. I know that I showed you guys this page last episode. It's just the page that tells you to decorate the cover and decorate the intro pages and blah 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 blah. But yeah, I will be doing the cover today um, as well as the inside cover, the title page, copyright page, and then the intro page, and... The page itself where it tells you to do, it doesn't tell you to do all of that, but it does say something about the copyright page and the um, cover, um, and I'll probably do the back cover too. <sighs> so yeah, I have a lot, a lot of decorating to do in this video. Let's get started. It says, create a border. Draw or make some sort of interesting border around these pages. And the directions are given in the center of the page so that you can do a border on the edges with no problem. I really like this page. I think borders are fun and I like making borders. But yeah, I'm gonna get to it. Number six, um, it says, create a monochrome, choose one color, use only that color to decorate this page. And if you guys have watched my videos in the past, you know that this is going to be kind of hard for me because I use a lot of color, a lot of color variety in my pages usually. You could use like different tones and shades of the color, like if you chose blue, you could use light blue and dark blue and medium blue. Um, as well as black and white because they're not colors technically. Yeah. Okay, and page 17, it says, create a page of polka dots. Put polka dots on this page. It sounds really simple and really kind of like easy, but there are endless possibilities. If you want to, you could literally just put polka dots on here and don't worry about anything else, or you could like strain your brain and think of some way to make that more interesting. You know, still using polka dots, but using them like within some sort of design or something like that to make it more unique. But, you know, I could totally understand just wanting to put polka dots on the page for the fun of it and not even trying to make it into something else. Um, but for me, today I'm feeling a little bit creative, so I'm gonna try to do something more than just putting polka dots on the page. Thank you. 
95, create color combinations. Play around with some different color combinations. Group colors to see how they look together. Make note of your favorites. Basically just putting um, one color next to another color in some sort of way, seeing how the colors interact with each other, and picking out your favorites. I love anything that involves playing around with color. You'll notice there are quite a few prompts in here that deal with color because I just like color a lot. It's like my favorite thing. So yeah. Okay, next is page 47. Create a bumpy page. Lay this page over a textured or bumpy surface. Try to write or draw something. This page is kind of one of those that doesn't really require much planning. Uh, it's kind of like more experimental and um, that's what makes it fun. So let's do it. says create a challenge fill in this page without using your hands in any way you could like hold a pencil in your mouth or uh, use your elbows or use your feet well whatever you want use your face I don't know I'm gonna be honest I thought about like you know not using my hands for the background like making some sort of cool like messy background and then going over top of it and drawing something with my hands but come on, that's cheating. There are like 240 other pages in this book where I'll get to draw using my hands and whatever. Just try to deal with it, you know? Try to deal with this page not being perfect and get it a little messy and interesting. that I did for this episode. So first we have this page. Did this little doodle of a girl and a puppy and here are little hearts. Yeah, this is just how I decided to decorate this page and then customize the cover. Um, I just used regular colored pencils on the cover and they work pretty well on, on this kind of cover. Um, and I made it like kind of pastel, which I really like. And then the back cover as well is kind of the same thing. And then I just put tape over it to protect it. And then I also did the inside cover 
and the title page. I did it kind of like checker rainbow theme. Um, this border is kind of like the one on the cover, so I decided to go with that. And here's my rainbow heart for the page, of course. And then the copyright page, I just did like this rainbow paint is being put over the page. And yeah, I did this with color pencil and added my little symbol, of course. And this page, the monochromatic page. Um, yeah, so I chose pink, obviously, and I just did pink clouds and a pink sky and a little pink kitty sitting in the cloud. And then of course I added the heart, but I didn't make it rainbow because that would be in violation to the instructions. So it's just pink. And this page, which I really like this page a lot, what I decided to do was just draw um, these silhouettes of dancers in different like dance poses because uh, I used to take dance. And um, yeah, I just added little polka dots in each silhouette in a different color. And then I added um, a drawing of like these stage curtains because um, I thought that it would look cool. And here's the border page. Um, so yeah, I did a border around the edge of the pages just in like pen outline with roses and, and vines and flowers and that kind of crap. Um, so yeah, and then I did a little border around the actual directions and then just filled in the empty space with pink and orange and yellow because it needed color obviously um, and I did that with colored pencil this part and if you notice this page is not taped yet because a lot of you guys have been asking me um, how I actually apply the tape to the pages so I'm going to be showing you how I do that on this page after I finish this video I will Make another one showing you guys how I put the tape on there and there'll be a link in the description to an unlisted video where I show you how to put the tape on if you're interested in that at all. So this is the bumpy page which turned out pretty interesting. I didn't have a plan for this because it wasn't something that I wanted to plan out. I just wanted it to kind of happen. But yeah, I figured it would be easier to draw something on a bumpy surface if it was a separate piece of paper. So that's how I did it. I just used a separate piece of printer paper, put it over like a line of paint tubes to give a really bumpy surface, and then I just drew stripes over top of it. Um, and so it kind of gave it like this weird pattern, like it fades in and out. So then I just cut out this shape and then glued on the piece of paper onto the page. And then I just drew little ice cream cones over top because, I don't know, the colors that I chose kind of reminded me of ice cream, so I just went with it. And I did an ice cream cone with the same colors in this page. I have to be honest, the reason I did this on like separate pieces of paper is because I had actually already done this page and I didn't like what I did at all. Like it was just so bad, it was just so messy and I just hated it so much and I didn't wanna have a page that I hated. So I decided to redo it. Even though this is kind of supposed to be like a bad page or like a messy page, I didn't want it to annoy me that badly, so I redid it. So yeah, I just did exactly what I did with the bumpy page. I just took printer paper, did the little design on it, and then glued it to the page and cut around. Basically, I just dipped my elbows in paint and then like put these blobs on here, and then I put a pencil in my mouth and like made the blobs of color turn into scribble. It was a really random idea, but and it looks really weird. I don't know, it's not supposed to look like anything, it's just a really random weird idea. And then of course I added my heart and I did this with the pencil in my mouth, which I think is pretty impressive, like it's not that bad. So something that I really like to do for some reason is put like, draw people with weird skin and hair colors. So I thought it'd be fun to like, do that over and over again with like a different weird skin color and weird hair color combo. You know, they end up all looking kind of like alien-ish, but I really like that. I don't know, I think it's cool. So that's what I did, and then I added these little rectangles that show the, the color combo that was used. And then I starred my favorites. So this one, this one, and this one, because it does say make note of your favorites. Alright, so that's all I have for you guys for the second episode of Create This Book. I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye!